<sighs> I just tried to film this video and I talked for 15 minutes and decided I hated it. So I stopped and I deleted it and we're trying this again. So yes, hello, it's Carolyn. I have been wanting to make this rant video for like a week now about why I think K-pop companies need to change or they will fail in the international market. And so we're going to try to make this clip actually make sense because my last one was a mess. Let's get started. We have lots of tea to talk about, obviously, Baby Gom is here with me today. We will be talking about Wano, but we're also going to be talking about just companies in general. So if you are the CEO of a company, you may be offended by this video, but guess what? I don't care. So we actually have two teas. We've got a soy matcha latte because superior beverage. And we've also got a unsweetened ice green tea with us. So you can't tell me that K-pop isn't moving in a direction where companies are more and more interested in the American international market. I'm just going to say American because we've seen the most in that, but I am they are interested in the entire world and bringing K-pop to the entire world. They've just started in America and well, they started in Japan, let's be real. Started in America, seen a lot of it in China too. I just want to talk about why I think that with the things that have happened in the past month that this is just there's no way K-pop companies can't change and continue to do well in the American market. Let's discuss. So first of all, I want to acknowledge that Korea and America are very different. I've been a K-pop fan for 10 years. I understand that there are cultural differences. There are all sorts of differences. I'm purely talking about fan mentality in this video. I'm not really trying to go into politics. I'm not really trying to go into any of that. That is not, I don't know anything about politics. K-pop companies are being more and more interested in American companies. There are artists, there are idols who are signed under American companies. Now we have seen the rise of Super M extremely targeted towards international fans, American mostly, but international fans. We have seen versions of albums being released in Target. We have seen American versions being released on Amazon. We have seen so many international versions and it's one thing to enjoy K-pop when K-pop albums are being sold in Korea. And if you buy it from, I don't know, Ketchup C or K-Town For You or k oh, whatever. But it's another thing when you're literally releasing American versions of your album that is very much targeted towards the American public. So with that, I want to say that if this is going to continue to happen, SM is supposedly planning a global group for next year. Some changes need to be made or this is not going to be successful. It's going to crash and burn and explode in these companies' faces and it's going to be ugly and it's not going to be good for the idols. It's not going to be good for the company. It's not going to be good for the fans. It's just going to be a mess and I can just feel this coming if change does not happen. There have been changes. So before you comment and say things will never change, there have been changes and we will discuss that as well. First of all, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Sorry, baby gum. You're not an elephant. You're very cute. Someday I'll have Ham Gone here. Ham Gone. He has not come in the mail yet and he will join baby gum. They will sit next to each other, but Ham Gone has not arrived yet. I don't know what's taking so long, Korea. The Wano situation. I find the Wano situation super frustrating for international fans. Monster X literally spent the majority of the year in the United States. They released three American singles. They had an American album that is still planning on coming out. And they tweet in English all the time. They have been on numerous talk shows and they're going on the Jingle Ball tour literally next month. Literally, Super M just texted me. <laughs> like, like you can't tell me that things aren't being targeted towards me. Super M literally texted me in the middle of filming this video. I don't know. What, what was I saying before that? Oh my gosh, I don't even remember. I understand before you comment about all of this that weed is illegal in Korea. I understand that there are different laws and different things that people think are okay there and are not okay there. I also understand that the Korean public has a very poor view of idols and that a lot of people in the general Korean public don't really enjoy idols that much. That's fine. That all is fine. The communication with fans throughout this whole Wano thing has been literally awful. And I get that there are things that you can't say if you're going through legal allegations and legal things, but how have there, how has it been 22 days and there has been not a single update from Wano or Starship Entertainment? How has there not been a single update? If Starship's not involved in this lawsuit with Wano, that's fine. But how has there not been any updates from Dispatch or Naver or any anything? 
I don't understand that. That's annoying. I think that if you have an international, a group who you're trying to push internationally, you shouldn't just be thinking about the general Korean public. I'm not even talking about the Korean fan base because Korean mom bebe have literally been amazing throughout this entire thing and I love you so much. And Japanese mom bebe have been amazing throughout this entire thing and I also love you so much. When you're just concerned about the Korean public's view of your idol, when you literally are shipping your idols overseas more than spending time in Korea, all three fandoms were fighting a couple of months ago, Japanese mom bebe, international mom bebe, and Korean mom bebe because all of us were talking about where we would like Monster X to be. <laughs> uh, funny times, back when that was our biggest problem. Remember that? Remember that fun time? I don't, it was so long ago. When you take your idol and you push them overseas and then you literally don't listen to the opinions of any other fandom or any other part of the fandom besides the not even part of the fandom, the Korean public. Like, why would you just listen to the Korean public? It's so stupid. Even if, let's just do a whole worst case scenario right now. Even if everything that has come out about Wano is completely true, and let's say that he is still doing things now. Like, like let's just throw that in there too. If Starship had fought for him and that had happened, then I would have been, I still would have been sad either way, let's be real, but I would have let Wano go. But the fact that they said, hey, we're taking legal action on what has happened. And then the next morning I woke up and he was kicked out of the group. And the next day after that, he was his contract was terminated. And now they're cropping him out of things and blurring him out of things. And I understand all of that legal aspect is involved if he's no longer a member under... Monster X, if he's no longer a member of Monster X and under Starship Entertainment, but the fact that they waited so long to do that after promotions ended just infuriates me and makes me feel like I was used. And there is not a single human being out there in Korea right now, including the rest of the Monster X members who enjoy Starship Entertainment currently. So what does Starship do? Because Starship is literally digging themselves a grave. Toss Swano aside, Continues with the poorly edited season's greetings, which oh, that concept is really so cute. I'm just gonna say, but and the other boys look so good in it. But the fact that they like tossed one aside, immediately cropped him out every like after promotions ended, so stupid. Anyways, um, they tossed him aside like it did not matter. Like Wano had not produced so much music for Monster X. Like Wano was never there, and that is the most infuriating thing to me when a K-pop idol leaves a group unless they're involved in the burning sun controversy then see you later bye you never existed to me if they left for like when hanbin left icon and the rest of the members are literally in their contracts not allowed to talk about him and everything is erased and they don't talk about whoever left that is like the most infuriating thing to me i think it is so annoying because every single member of a k-pop group gives so much time and energy to their groups that even when jisuk left golden child for health reasons because he was not like it wasn't any bad blood it was health reasons they were not allowed to talk about him at all even when idols leave the company like on good terms which is something we see often the group does not talk about them it's awkward and uncomfortable and i hate it and i think it is the most frustrating thing ever and i really I'm worried for, I'm worried slash excited for when Monster X go on tour in the United States for the Jingle Ball thing that's happening next month, Jingle Bash. What is it called? I never know. I want to see these American reporters ask about it because that's another difference is in Korea, they will acknowledge, they will not mention it. They will say he's gone. That is it. We will not talk about him. We will literally ask nothing else. But American reporters, Really? You think American reporters are going to say nothing? You're not even going to think they're going to like hint at it a little bit, even if they're told don't say that? You think on a live show something's not going to happen in America? Are we talking about the same country? Because, because American reporters, man, we all think dispatch is bad, but like American reporters, man, I just want to say that. The next thing I want to talk about is TS Entertainment, the actual garbage can of this industry, because I am so mad about this. And I think this is another thing that needs like this adds on to things that need to change in the industry, because 
Oh my god, if TS Entertainment opens their mouth one more time, I'm literally gonna burn their building down. Like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. If it burns to the ground, I will save all of the idols that are inside in the trainees and anyone who's not involved in this, but I'm burning their building to the ground. I literally never really pay that much attention to TRCNG, but I am a big fan of BAP, so I already have an awful taste of TS Entertainment in my mouth from when BAP were with TS Entertainment, and then when they left and then came back to TS Entertainment and they screwed them over even more, I will never not be frustrated about that. Never. And this TRCNG thing makes me disgusted. And I'm so upset that not more people are talking about this because this is how you make change in the industry is continuing to talk about it. So here I am talking about it and that's why I had to do a rant video because I just need to talk about it. TRCNG, two of their members went and sued TS Entertainment recently um, for allegations, should I say allegations? For abuse, neglect, not giving them any water a basic human necessity for survival. They did not give them access to clean water. They also didn't give them access to electricity and that sucks, like that's not good either, but water, that just in like, and also all of TRCNG are literal children. Like they're all babies being beat by employees, not escorting them to the hospital after they beat them like having the children go to the hospital and pay their own hospital bills and all of them only share it like all 10 members there's 10 members all 10 members sharing a single working toilet and when that toilet broke ts did nothing about it and the fact that they treat them like this and then two of the members came out i don't i don't really know much about them two of the members came out they said this is what happened we're taking action we can't do this anymore and then ts entertainment had the audacity, the audacity to one, post the other eight members have decided to continue on as TRCNG and goodbye to these members, like kick them out. Like that was kind of to be expected, but that, and then, and then this company, I'm so mad about this. This company tweeted a statement from the remaining eight members' parents, basically saying everything is fine in a very TS, worded way like it like it was not it was not tweeted by any of the parents instagrams or it was not or like on anyone's twitter it was tweeted by ts entertainment there was no proof that the actual there's no signatures from the mothers the parents there was no signatures of the other eight members parents saying like this we agree to this statement it was literally like, I will, I will go ahead and post a picture. Like, this is what it looks like. Like, do you actually believe that this is, do they really think that we believe that this was from their parents? No, there is no way that TS Entertainment considers the members of TRCNG actual humans because you could never do that to another human being. You could never take 10 children, put them in a house together, not give them fresh water and not give them basic human survival things. Like, I don't care if your company's going bankrupt because you're all garbage like you can't do that you can't and uh, i hope those boys win their case because oh my gosh if ts entertainment it uh, i cannot deal with them like they had another thing with sonamu happen earlier this year so that's happening right now if you've never heard of the trcng uh situation before this video i encourage you to go research it and to say something about it because this cannot be something that we just let be pushed under the mat for later like this is something that actually needs to be addressed and we need to do something about it and, and it sounds like as fans that there's nothing we can do about these things but let me tell you something we are the ones paying the bills we are the ones who are supporting the idols at the end of the day the company can't do anything without us they literally cannot do anything without fan support even people who invest in these companies will not continue to invest if there is no support from fans. And I'm not saying boycott, going back to the Monster X thing. I don't know how I feel about the boycott situation currently. I personally am that excited about buying the season's greetings. Um, but I also know that the Monster X members don't really get much profit from season's greetings and merch like that. So like those ugly keychains they just released, like, you know, if there had been a 101 and everything was fine and none of this had happened, I already would have bought a 101. But let's be real, I'm not sure how I feel about those ugly keychains. Also, the fact that I am says two letters and first of all, who is I am? I only know Chung Kyun. And second of all, why do you have to pay the same price for two letters as opposed to like 
Hyungwon's name. Like, why are they the exact same price? I'm confused, Starship. Also, Starship, why did you change the price of your season's greetings three times? I don't know. Anyways, so I'm not saying boycott. That's not what I'm saying. You can do what you feel is right as far as buying OT6 merch, this merch that has come out. Um, I'm not really going to throw my opinion out there on that. But yeah, the next thing I want to talk about is Eyes 1 and X1 because this has been a thing that's happening recently too. And what infuriates me most about Eyes 1 and X1 situation and the produce situation in general is that a lot of what's happening is being pushed to the kids when it's very obviously not entirely the kids fault say there's a couple of members who knew what was going on who were very aware that there were manipulations and that they were being manipulated into the group and they accepted whatever the entire group should not be blamed for a single individual it's frustrating that everything's being taken out on the kids there haven't been many updates on the actual staff members involved at mnet or any of the companies that were involved again this company thing something needs to change there can't be this happening because when things like this get out i don't care about whoever was involved in mnet i just want them jailed like see you later bye companies can't keep acting this way they can't keep doing things like this they can't keep acting so stupid when you're not just under the eyes of South Korea anymore. You're under the entire world's eyes. Everything you do becomes so much more of an issue and so much bigger when you've invest, you've caused your international fans to be so invested in everything that's going on. It's just annoying. I think that it's annoying that they're doing this to the kids. Um, again, I'm not really sure what's going to happen with the future of either of those groups. I just think it's annoying that they're trying to make it seem like one of the members of Eyes One went and uh, caused this boycott or caused this uh, manipulation to happen. I think it's ridiculous. I think that all of the media articles written like that are ridiculous. It's another example that has happened literally within the past three weeks of how a company can be so stupid and how this just can't continue. It's one thing, this is not the first time any of these things have happened. Well, maybe the produce thing. This is not the first time that a company has literally kicked a member out of a group for allegations that were not proven. They were just kicked out of the group. See you later. And this is not the first time that we have seen companies abuse idols. This is not the first time that we have seen a member of a group pass away because a company did not give her, him or her the support that they needed. That's sad that, that I can say that. That is sad. And it's sad that as I say that, I think it might not be the last time. That shouldn't, that's not right. That shouldn't be a thing. But I will say that when all of these things happen at the same time, because these things usually don't happen at the same time, Sully and then Monster X produce um, the TRCNG situation. All these things happening at the same time, literally, you can't tell me that this huge explosion of things has happened and nothing's gonna change from it because we can't continue like this. Like I said, it's one thing if something happens, a couple months pass, another thing happens, people like get all like, oh, we have to do something about it. And then it quiets down for a couple of months. And then another single thing happens. Not that any of the things previously that have happened to this past month have been minuscule and unimportant because that's not what I'm saying at all. Also, Guanlin from uh, 101 lost his um, lawsuit with Cube Entertainment yesterday. He was trying to get out of them. Cube Entertainment, who we all know already is garbage because of the Hyuna Iran situation, which that is so stupid too. You can't tell me that things aren't going to change from this. You can tell me. You can write it in the comments down below that nothing will ever change. But let's talk about how things have already changed. Five years ago, if you had told me that there was going to be a member of a very popular girl group who was going to be suffering from anxiety and her company would tell her it's okay you can participate in what you want and if you don't want to participate in something that's okay too the minna twice situation and also the s coops and 17 situation both of those things say to me things are changing you can't tell me that things are not changing and that things won't continue to change in the past i i could see five years ago if this exact same situation had happened popular girl group member suffers from anxiety a mental health illness that companies would have been like, well, that sucks. And they would have just, see you later. And the fact that we've had two K 
cases of that happen this year, which is not exciting either that idols are under so much stress that they literally can't like they suffer from mental illness because of it. The fact that Pledis did that for S Coops is incredible because Pledis never does anything right. And part of what's going on with S Coops is him being overworked. 17 are all overworked, let's be honest, and them being over promoted. And I don't know, I just think they all need to take a break. But the fact that their company is allowing S Coops to take a break and not kick him out, that is also amazing. So you can't tell me that change isn't happening because I've been around for a long time. <laughs> and I can tell you that there have been changes from when I first got into K-pop. I think that there will continue to be changes. I think that these changes need to happen faster than other changes we've seen. This isn't right. The fact that companies cannot look at their idols and see a human being. And the fact that the Korean mentality is also changing a little bit. I watched this video earlier today or yesterday or something of um, this reporter asking this man on the street if he thinks that you need to have a perfect past in order to be an idol and he was like well no one has a perfect past and <laughs> i think as far as things with idols go if you made a stupid mistake when you were little like you said a mean thing to one of your classmates and they come out later and say that you were bullying them or you smoked weed one time for fun and the only proof that someone has of it is just by word of mouth that that should be okay. Because I think the younger generation, let's not even talk about the world. The younger generation of Koreans who are growing up, who are growing up in such a stressful environment, because it's already been proven that the Korean like uh, like school system and education system is corrupt in itself and there's lots of issues there. And again, I'm not Korean. I don't feel like I have much of a say on this topic, but I will say that those who are working in an environment where they're being forced to be perfect and forced to get perfect grades and perfect scores, would it be a bad thing to have them look up to a singer who maybe had a rough beginning, maybe had a tough time at one point when he was younger, but worked hard and made a name for himself? Is that really a bad thing? I don't know if this video made sense at all. I. I don't know at all. This isn't exactly how I thought it was going to turn out. I thought I'd be a lot angrier in this and I'm pretty angry about all these things, but I'm also can't help but be hopeful that something's changing. I think that the most important thing right now is to keep talking about these things because if we keep talking about them, it's been proven with Monster X right now, continuing to talk about Monster X and the situation and continuing to trend about it and continuing to work hard and get the information out there. There have been media sources, not Korean media sources that have reached out to Starship Entertainment for statements on what's happening. And that's insane. That is something I have never seen happened before. I've never seen the Western media or even other parts of the Eastern media. Like we have articles in China and Japan being written about the Wano situation. You can't tell me change isn't happening or isn't going to happen because it's happening right now. And I just think that there's been a lot of negativity towards what Mom Bebe are doing, which also infuriates me because literally, I said this in the other clip I just deleted, if this had happened to any other group, that is currently doing very well in the United States, being promoted in the United States. I'm gonna throw out names, let's just do it. Blackpink, BTS, Super M, NCT 127. If any of those groups this situation had happened to, you can't tell me that it wouldn't be the same fight, but just a different fandom and a different idol right now. That is what happens when you promote your idol overseas. You get differing opinions to the Korean general public. I'm just gonna say that. Just gonna throw that out there. Sorry if you don't agree with anything I said, but I needed to say it. I needed to get this video out into the world just to, if nothing else, to bring light to the TRC and G situation because it infuriates me and there's not enough people talking about it. And I think we all need to talk about that because this child abuse thing, not okay. Not okay. Can't do it. Denying children clean water? Nope. But yeah, let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Um, do be respectful respectful of other people's opinions. We all have differing opinions on this. We all come from different backgrounds and cultures and we all believe different things and I think that's okay. But I think one thing we can agree on is that K-pop companies are crap and there's need, there needs to be something done about that. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you very, very soon.